Hello everyone, this is the tutorial video for a software called MATLAB and this video is made for uh, strength and material 254 students of Salabosh University in South Africa. If I give you a brief introduction, like a really brief of MATLAB, the software is beneficial for the matrix operation, especially when we have an a uh, pretty large size of matrices and is quite hard to do like hand calls. So um, just like other software like um, Excel, so it's also has like that Excel also has got the matrix operation, the function, but it's not really actually like designed for the matrix itself. Uh, calculation operation thingy so it takes some time also it's a little bit complicated to calculate it out and it's not really actually beneficial to use like the Excel or some Java or other things but like in this MATLAB is specifically uh, designed for the, the math, math like a math uh, calculation and like dealing with the large size of data and the plotting the data data and like integration differentiation and also all different kinds of the like calculus so once you are actually familiarized like with the MATLAB then you will actually have like much more benefits further um, this series of tutorial video will only deal with a uh, pretty basic function of like a software for especially stiffness matrix calculation for analyzing a structure such as a bar elements beam or a frame elements also like known as like finite element method um, traditionally the students have been more familiarized or um, easily approached to Microsoft or Excel because like it looks easy and then it's more visualized what you are currently doing when you do like some metric calculation but like MATLAB allows you to think more systematically when you're approaching this kind of finite element calculation for the structure so MATLAB is highly recommendable recommended like to use it alright so if I actually give you some brief introduction about the MATLAB so this is the um, software like when you actually first open this software then this is the looking now this is the one in like that current folder this is the current folder that your file is saving or like you are working with and this is a command window that, that you can do some arithmetic calculation or that is a pain like where your the, the when you actually do write like some script and then your results comes out in the command window and this workspace uh, that's the way your variables your answers like all the assigned like dec declared variables are stored in the workspace and then like this is like a sort of um, visualization of your var variable um, we normally or like if I actually briefly like go for there's some arithmetic calculation like a 1 plus 1 and then enter then it gives you an answer and also as you see here the answer like a, this is like one variable uh, which is generated uh, by default by the MATLAB um, called answer so like ANS so as I say as I type ANS and then enter it gives you the 2 so what we uh, where we actually assign or like assigned by the MATLAB then you can also do ends plus 1 then it gives us 3 now ends is 3 so like that like a command window is like where you are doing some um, arithmetic calculation or like calculus the calculation and so on but this is like temporary this is volatile the command window and then you don't you can't really actually save uh, what you have done over there where you still can like a track back 
what you have done so far but there's not actually really some file you can save so we are normally opening the script or live script so I'm gonna actually explain to you the what what they are actually different but like if like, you know the script is the one you are working with like then you can actually save the script into like some specific specific folder then you can actually opens up like a later um, you can edit any time or wherever you want uh, so basically you can save into a file um, if I do one plus one right then run that all right I get this one first like I ask you to um, to save it all right it's just like a tutorial one all right let's first save it it doesn't really actually allow you to actually have a space that's why it's complaining all right like that's the file is um, generated and if I run it then there we go that's two but I normally uh, start uh, that script with a CLC and then clear all the C what CLC does like that it clears all the things we have done in the command window and it clears like CLC like that and it clear all like what it does is like it clears all um, the variables or like all workspace like clear all then it clears all the workspace so this is like a sort of clearing before you are really starting your the, your own work so if I do one plus one then it comes out here but it doesn't really have any record at the back but you also have some workspace so as a last like before I close up like this short video and I want to quickly show you a the live script so this is like a pretty pretty new function I'm like it's not really completely new but it's been actually introduced like quite a long ago but this live script like if many people actually doesn't know about this one even though they are quite like expert about like MATLAB uh, what it does like that uh, doesn't really show you uh, what's going on in the code like like a normal script and um, this one normally actually outcome shows in the command window but this one uh, shows in the just right next on small section segments so CLC and then clear all and this one also um, gives you some like a library like uh, some functions as you actually type in like a uh, integration as like int and then it also gives you some guide like what is what is like a first um, declaration and then what is it like a second declaration and so on so if I do that I did run it gives answer to over there and like not in here uh, if I further doing it um maybe I'll say B equal here and then A plus B I'll say A equal one and it does it here and like a B the answer of the B is showing at the next of that code and the answer of one A A is showing on the next just right next to it and it's quite easy to track like your own code and then where, like, you can also find where your um, mistake is so that live editor also like doesn't complain about the like, saving the file at all or whatever so if but like if you want to save some uh, save the file then you can just like simply save it and also you can go for some text this is a tutorial and get back to code then this is it then you also go for the title 
and then uh, when you write up the, some comments it's even easier as well in the live editor so make a use of it and then um, play around with the software and I will get back to you in the next tutorial video thanks